Hi and welcome to Healthy Life Hacks. I'm Jennifer Jeffries, the present day wise woman, a realistic naturopath coming to you from the surfing beaches of Australia. This podcast is for those of you who are wanting to really rock your life and health and live from a place of prevention. Let's get into today's episode. Have you ever been resistant to change? I know I have. The biggest kind of lesson that I can remember where I was really resistant um, impacted me in such a big way. It happened about 10 years ago. And I was at a personal development seminar. I was actually flown to the other side of the world from Australia all the way to Belize, where one of my mentors, Mr. David Tears Wood, he owned a private island. And we were there for a week to do some personal growth stuff. All good. And I... Uh, First lesson happened in minutes, minutes of uh, the event even getting ready to start, not even starting. And I want to share this story for a really important reason. Um, It's so easy to stay kind of as we are. And I had always been that I'm just Jen, you know, I'm I'm Jen and I'm loud and I'm proud and I'm I'm just the out dyke and it's just the way it is. However. I understood range in that learning and I realised that I had been missing out on a big bunch of people by me not uh, getting outside my comfort zone and being a blockhead. (laughs) That's pretty much it. I was uh, kind of sort of full of myself and just thought, I'm just me. They can change. I'm just me. (laughs) And uh, I had a big learning through it. So I want to talk about that today. So what happened? I'll kind of set the scene. So this was uh, a leadership development course. There was maybe a dozen of us there from all over the world. A really immersive week-long retreat. Took me 44 hours to fly there. It was just so far. Um, Planes, trains and boats. It was crazy. Anyway. So what happens is um, day one, you're going in, it's got the introduction. Everyone's just arriving. We go into the main palapa, which is the kind of the big house, the great house on this, this private eco island. We're staying in, you know, burets you know, over the water, you know, the little bungalows over the ocean, just blah, in an eco sanctuary. It was beautiful. It was just beautiful. Very, very simple, but beautiful. Anyway, we, uh, we grab our seats and Jen being Jen sits in the front row. That's all good. I really didn't know anyone else around me. And, um, yeah, I I just kind of settled in. Anyway, my mentor Dave comes up on the stage and he's kind of g'day, 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 g'day to everyone. And he said, I don't remember exactly what he said, but he said something um, smart to me about being an Aussie. And I went, and Dave spends so much time down here. Like he was just putting shit on me like mates do in Australia. We put shit on people that we love. Anyway, so he put shit on me and I went, oh, piss off, David, just like that. And be- I heard this sound. It was like, Ugh! like, come from behind me. I'm like, what's going on? Turn around and there's this woman, this man, a couple of other attendees. I didn't know who they were. And it was like, right. anyway, David being David and being in a personal development course and leadership, he then went, wow, okay, there's a response. I'll play with that. Love you, David, for doing that. Anyway, and what he did, he then said something else that I just did, Jen, and I went, oh, fuck off, David. Well, the sound was like, like, fuck, someone's going to die any second. <laughs> I didn't even know what was going on. And I turned around and I went, what the fuck is wrong? Like, really? What's wrong with you? And this woman just lost it, lost it. She was horrified, shocked. I was most uncouth, mouthy, foul mouth person on the planet in her mind. Turns out that uh, she was a very devout Mo- a Mormon and uh, had very kind of, you know, very conservative, what I consider to be conservative kind of ways of being and beliefs. And I was Jen. <laughs> And really interesting. And so Dave, uh, he saw it as an opportunity for us to grow. Anyway, he kind of just, you know, let it be. And I, I'm just thinking, oh, fuck you. You know, I'm just me. You know, I'm me. Take me as I am. That's just the way it is. 
And look, just remember, I'm really successful in my business on the big stage, speaking at conferences all around the world, all that kind of stuff. But I was still just Jen. I had a range, conference speaking Jen, but when I'm just Jen relaxed, I was Jen. And um, I kind of lived it. If it's a, if it's a, a continuum, you know, like a line, I had Jen on stage professional and I had Jen the Daggy Dyke down this end and nothing in between. So what I learned from being in, in on day one, David started teaching about how we all have a range. So our range is how we show up in the world. And there is, there, there's loud Jen on stage. There's, I, I honestly live, can happily prefer to live as a recluse and just hide from the world. Uh, but to do the things that I want to do in this world, I don't. I let myself get really uncomfortable and I'm, I'm even doing this. This is so far outside my comfort zone, but it's what I choose to do, to do, to have an impact on the world in, in my lifetime. But I, I prefer to hide from the world and just, just hide. So he started speaking into this about how the majority of the population kind of live in that five to six range. Life's great. It, it's it's great. They, they, they're there in that, but they don't go to the extremes. I'm the opposite. I live in the extremes and don't do the thing because I had it in my mind that that middle ground meant boring. And I never wanted to be that boring person. So I've always lived on those the extremes for decades. Uh, this woman lived in that zone and I considered it boring. I was judging her. So David being David as he is, we, you know, we did kind of exercise this and we had to do all these, so much stuff. It, it's a very experiential kind of uh, personal growth course. Anyway, we we had some stuff we had to do over the next couple of days and David literally tied her and I together. We had to do every damn thing together, everything. We had to do everything to the extent that it really uh, I had to get into her shoes and she had to get into my shoes. And it was uh, awkward and it was painful until we both took the time to really get to know each other. And I just want to share that we ended up really gorgeous friends and are still to this day. And she's a woman I have such deep respect for. Um, and she got to know me and, and, and my journey and why and how am I am. And we both, she found more of her range and I love it because she is she's a dynamite woman uh in business and has just grown so much I, I'm so proud of her where she's gone and I found my middle ground even to the extent that uh you know three I uh, prior to three years ago I was traveling nine months a year as a professional speaker traveling around the world speaking at conferences epic life I loved it loved it loved it and it was that you know that the life of the jet setter and all those kind of things however the pandemic came 2020 I flew back into Australia in the March and I didn't fly internationally again I didn't go off and even do a gig until only just a few months ago so three more than three years of living the domestic life here at home in Australia I hadn't lived a domestic life for over 20 years prior to that and it was it the first year I really struggled because uh, there was that kind of a bit of a loss of identity with me. You know, I'm, I can't travel and speak what I do the next part of my life and all those kind of things until I, you know, adapted my business and pivoted like we all had to do. However, I, I noticed this year, I thought, I am so bloody peaceful and content. It, it's divine. Like it is just the best feeling. And I realized that I'd always seen content also as being that middle ground. And I'd prejudged it as boring. I thought I needed all that adventure and all that kind of ex external stimulation all the time to have me be me. However, the peace I've found in my life the last three years has been just beautiful. It really is. So it's been an interesting journey that, for me anyway, finding my range, that we all have a range. There's the big out, big on stage, Jen, where I, I speak to thousands and thousands of people in an audience at a time. There's the quiet recluse, Jen, who doesn't want to play anyone with anyone and, and literally hides for my own. I'm an introvert who works the extrovert to get what I want to do in the world. So trust me, I do. I live in silence. Thank God I married a woman who gets it. And we, we live in silence. We, we don't have noise on. We just don't. We live in silence. I love that. So happily, I married the right kind of woman. 
Um, but I found my middle ground. And that first got triggered for me even to start looking at what middle ground was only 10 years ago. So I wanted to, to kind of speak in this to say, where do you live? And, like, I would hate to think that I missed out on the opportunity to get to know this woman for the last 10 years uh, because of me being a dick, so to speak. In Australia, we say that you're just a dick by me just being a blockhead and not wanting to change or grow. And I was really into personal development and all those things, but I'd still hung on to this piece that I'm just me, not really realising that me being the way I was would, you know, um, kind of alienate some people. Now, I know that no matter what I do, 50% of people will love what I do and 50% will never love me or what I do. That's that's kind of a law of the universe. However, within that 50% who do get my vibe, I want to make sure that I can connect. And I also don't want to, or I also want to be able to connect, but in a different kind of ways with that other 50%. And I was missing that. And I didn't realize how important it was. So I just wanted this podcast to open that conversation and have you think about how do you show up in the world? How do you show up in the world? Where do you live? Do you live in the middle? And if the middle is for you is cool, that's cool. However, what if you just got a little bit outside your comfort zone and just whoop, did a little stretch? Either way, which way? Doesn't matter. Imagine you just grew that comfort zone. The same as so much was added to my life by getting out of the extremes and coming into that middle ground. If you're in that middle ground, imagine what's sitting out there on the extremes. It doesn't have to be, you don't have to do a giant step today, but just do one thing. Just do one thing today to get outside your comfort zone. Me coming to that middle ground was so uncomfortable. I, I, it really was. It, um, that, that, uh, that retreat that we did was so life-changing for me in so many ways. Uh, and I'm so grateful for it. David Tierswood, Wood, if you get a chance to follow him on socials and everything, he's a bloody cool trainer. He's been my mentor for over 10 years now. I pay him a lot of money to help kick my ass. Uh, he's been so good for my growth. And, yeah, we have a range. We have our personality. We have our color, whatever it is. And we also have a range within that. I promise the benefits of living more of your range are out of this world. So just have a play with it. There's so much in it. Um, and like I say, you don't have to take giant leaps to start looking, but at least do something outside your comfort zone and, uh, yeah, start to grow yourself. I promise it's worth it. See so, yeah. I want to thank you for being here today. If you enjoyed my podcast, please let me know by leaving a review on Apple Podcast. Every month, I draw one lucky person who leaves a review, have a free one hour consultation with me. Be sure to subscribe to the show wherever you're tuning in from so that you always catch the next episode. I welcome your emails and you can write to me at podcast at healthylifehacks.com.au. Until next time, remember, when it comes to life, live it, love it and get on with it.